Our Russell Colburn was out at practice today to catch up with the South Squad. Mobile native Solomon Patton runs some routes at South Practice this afternoon from Fairhope Stadium. It's not the swamp, but it's home, where the former Gator is getting his claws wet all the same. Plenty of peculiar pairings in practice, but the oddest couple, the two Cody's in the kicking game. Alabama punter Mandel holding for Auburn's place kicker, Parkey. Alabama holder for you. Do you feel at any point like he might sabotage you? Uh, you know, I did at first, but we're good We're good buddies from uh, all the way back from high school. So uh, I don't think too much about it. I think he's got my back on this one. I like the guy. He's, I mean, he's been one of my better friends throughout college. You know, everybody in Tuscaloosa would probably get mad at me for saying that, but I mean, uh, I mean, he's good guy, good friend. We're both, both trying to make it uh, to the next level, so I trust him. Alabama wideout Kevin Norwood trying to make it as well. Sure, he'd probably rather be catching bombs, but today he put a major emphasis on blocking downfield, an ability sought after by NFL scouts. You know, I pride myself on that in uh, Bama, you know, coach, coach taught as well, so you know, it was my thing to do, and uh, I'm going to get it done. I do whatever it takes to, do, uh, to get the team uh, moving the ball. Even if you're blocking for Jay Prosh out of the backfield? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Hey, just as long as he don't run over me. At six foot 260, many can say they've been run over by the Mobile native, still getting used to playing nice with other SEC players. It definitely takes some getting used to. You know, you're with guys that you played against all year and stuff like that. But, um, you know, after a day or so, it really is cool to kind of, you know, finally get to know those guys and uh, feel like you're on the team with them. So it really brings, like, um, you know, brings in some new friendships and, uh, you know, a really good feel about everything. Even those guys on the uh, Florida State sideline? Yeah, no, nah, we're cool. I mean, you know, football's still ball so that's that but uh yeah we're good guys so we're getting along for prosh these practices and this game are about much more than football his mother iris lost her battle with brain cancer in september of 2012 ever since then he has played not only to fulfill a childhood dream but to honor her memory jay when you're out here back in your hometown you feel like your mother's here with you oh yeah always i mean i feel like she's with me everywhere i go so i mean i started this out when i was in fourth grade trying to make it to the nfl you know that's what i wanted that was my dream as a little kid um but you know also i mean she can't carry her with me everywhere i go so um it's definitely part you know part for her part for, and you know for me too so it's a little bit of both for the 50 plus players on the south roster it's an honor to play in the senior bowl for prosh it's a happy homecoming. It's just uh, unreal, amazing. I'm enjoying it. It's an honor for me to be here. Grew up watching this game, uh, being a part of it, you know, in this area. So it's just an honor. You know, it means a lot to me. At the Senior Bowl, Russell Colburn, Fox 10 Sports. All right, now over in Mobile at Ladd Stadium, the North team suited up for the first practice. The team was out in action for about two hours. Mobile native Jimmy Ward, a Northern Illinois standout, is on the roster for the North squad. Another big name is on that team is Taj Boyd, the Clemson quarterback. North team will take the field tomorrow at Ladd. A few of the players met with the media after practice. Basically, I've seen a lot. You know, I got to get better knowledge of, you know, play the playbook. Uh, basically, I got to work on technique. Uh, and and one thing I did good, I said I take coaching good. You know, sometimes coaches got on to me, but, you know, I made that transition. I think the first day was really good just to get out there and compete again. And, um, you know, there's a lot of guys out here with a lot of great talent, so it's nice to measure yourself against the best. All right, of course, you can follow everything leading up to the big game Saturday right here on Fox 10. We'll have player and coach interviews, practices, events, everything senior bowl you could ask for right here on Fox 10 and Fox10TV.com. Follow us for continuing coverage. Okay, now pro football Super Bowl Sunday is just about two weeks away. The conference championship games wrapped up this weekend. The big game will feature the top two teams from each division. The Broncos will represent the AFC and the Seahawks for the NFC. One smart sports anchor called that. Nonetheless, Super Super Bowl 48 will kick off on February 2nd at 5.30. Of course, the only place you can catch the game is right here on Fox 10 as they go head-to-head -head for the Lombardi Trophy. Now, we'll have continuing coverage, like I mentioned, right here on Fox 10 and Fox10TV.com leading up to the Super Bowl. Still